Can one actually predict the gender of an unborn baby through morning sickness, also known as nausea and vomiting? In this video, we'll find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Please, if you're visiting my channel for the first time, subscribe and turn on the bell icon to enable you receive notification anytime I upload a new video from this channel. Morning sickness is feeling like vomiting and vomiting as well that occurs during pregnancy. About 70% of pregnant women experience morning sickness and it starts around week 6 of pregnancy. Morning sickness, also known as nausea and vomiting, is very common in first trimester of pregnancy. It can affect a pregnant woman in the morning or night or even the whole day. It usually fades away from week 14 to 16 of your pregnancy. During the first trimester of pregnancy, most moms to be experience some form of morning sickness and some may not even experience it at all. Severe cases of nausea and vomiting is called hyperemesis gravidarum. This may be serious and you may even need a specialist treatment or be admitted in the hospital. Now to predict gender, studies have found out that women who are pregnant with baby girls may experience more morning sickness during pregnancy than those pregnant with baby boys. Their reason is that the pregnancy hormone SCG, which female fetuses produce, are more than the male. But this isn't really true, because in my own case, I had morning sickness, both for my baby girl and my baby boy during pregnancy. For a pregnant woman, expect nausea and vomiting, whether you're pregnant with a baby girl or a baby boy. Morning sickness does not really determine the gender of your unborn baby. All these tales are for fun and not reliable. The scientific proven ways to know the gender of your unborn baby are one ultrasound scan from 18 weeks of pregnancy. During this scan, the gender of your unborn baby is usually revealed. Another proven way to know the gender of your unborn baby is known as amniocentesis. But this procedure is usually not recommended by most doctors. There are other ways to predict the gender of your unborn baby for fun. The links are in my description box below this video. 1. Nobs theory. 2. Placenta location, whether anterior or posterior location of placenta. 3. Skull theory. It is believed that square forehead is usually seen in baby boys while round forehead is seen in baby girls. For the Chinese calendar or the Chinese birth chart. Five, Mayan calendar to predict the gender of your unborn baby and the rest of it. Remember, these gender predictors are just for fun. If you experience mild morning sickness, also known as nausea and vomiting in your first trimester of pregnancy, do this. One, eat small but frequent meals. Try to drink plenty of fluids such as water. Just try and sip it little by little. It may help reduce nausea and vomiting. Have a warm bath and try to get enough rest. Also try to eat foods or drinks containing ginger because it may help reduce nausea and vomiting. Avoid foods or smells that make you feel sick. Call your doctor if you're vomiting and have very dark color during or haven't urinated for more than 8 hours. 2. Vomiting of blood. 3. You've lost weight. 4. Having abdominal pain. 5. Feeling dizzy or severely weak when trying to stand. And finally, you are unable to keep food or fluids down for 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video today. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to watch similar videos from this channel, please subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss out anytime I upload a new video. Bye.